back to the channel my name is chris ormy and today we're here playing some more football manager 2021 it is the swansea now the good thing about this is we got to the fa cup final and what we started a couple of videos ago that hat trick of hat tricks we discussed the possibility of winning three consecutive Premier League, League Cup, and FA Cup titles in a row. A hat trick of hat tricks. We face off against Wolves, who have, have had a very good season, to be fair to them. We finished off the year with 110 points. We are also currently marking our, our place in history with two draws away to Liverpool. And at home to Brighton within the Premier League. Every other game, including friendlies, including last year's FIFA Club World Cup. They are all wins. Those two draws making us currently unbeaten. And possibly invincible. We were invincible in our friendlies. We were invincible in the Club World Cup. We were invincible in the League Cup. We were invincible in the Premier League. Now it's the time to add the final two games, be invincible in those, and indeed become invincible throughout the entire season. Now all but the Premier League were also perfect. We're two games away, two goals away. And let's say even just one for one against, that goal against us at Anfield does not go in. We win that game 1-0. And we just score once in this game. Mbappe has a better than 6.4 game. And we beat Brighton. We would have a possible perfect season. For these two games. So close. So far. I believe in what we've done. Uh, what I really like as well is the amount of goals we can see. They throw it as well. So you can see here. Like two goals in these five games. Okay, then, we do concede a bit here. Villa and Barca, there's another three goals just though in those two games. That's five and seven, and then we're five without, uh, sorry, six without uh, scoring for the rest of April. I think when you add everything up, we're in a really good place. We concede a few goals here and there, and then there's a bunch of clean sheets. Um, not too many times have we actually conceded more than once this season, so... Barcelona at the camp no 95th minute own goal um not even like a, a good goal that was a bit of a defensive cluster and very unlucky uh very unlucky deflection so yeah that's um that's a bit of a shame that we did concede two there it didn't matter though uh, Pedro Neto deserves his goals not going to take anything away from him there he played really well that was one of our toughest games this season, to be fair, with a B team. So playing the first team in the FA Cup against Wolves, I think will be a fun game, but we should prevail. Another late goal when we'd already won the game and we kind of took our foot off the gas and that was just a counter-attack game against Sociedad. We need, to be, we need to be better than that. Man City, 98th minute, Liam De Lapp. Um, I still argue that uh, the game should have been over long before that. There shouldn't have been that much injury time. Brighton in the cup. Again, I think they deserved that. We were just poor on the day with a B team uh, in that one. As you can see, that's it then. Not even friendlies, Club World Cup. Those are the only games where we conceded more than a single goal. Brighton away. Man City at home. Real Sociedad away. Wolves away and Barcelona away. Two draws this season. Five times we conceded two goals. Not once have we conceded three. Plenty of clean sheets. What a season. Right now Mbappe's got 55 goals. Reiner's 7.63 and 19 assists. Cosme's passing from the back's been great. Uh, De Ligt's got booked the most. I mean... Kamavinga has had a good season as well. We've got to be perfectly honest. There is um, 
good stuff going on. At 28 yellows, nine of which with the leak, that's kind of uh, a little bit perhaps worse than you'd want. You know, a little bit, a um, little bit crazy. Team competitions in there. What else can we put in here? Because the squad starters, a couple of people uh, in a little bit of an issue right now. But yeah, I, I, I really like us. I really like where we are, what we've done. We've got some good ability. We've got a nice contract, no promises currently. And yeah, 7 million paid to agents, 187 for Yannick Helstead, 170 that went back to PSG for Mbappe. And I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. I, I kind of do, but I kind of don't at the same time. I'll be sold nearly two and a half billion pounds worth of players as 136 names out the door. That's 259 in, so almost double the amount of players for under half the amount of uh, less than a billion there for those 259. Best national manager from Wales. Um, you know, number five in the nation, number six in the country. So it's five in England, 16 in Europe, and 16 in the world. So, um, pretty good career so far. Two games left. And then I think I'm actually going to carry this over, not to another season, but to the Club World Championship to reclaim that title. I think that's fair. That's in June. It's not too far away. So, we'll, uh, we'll come back and play that to finish off and wrap up the series as well. But 79% win percentage is... Kind of crazy. 13 Cups, 4 League wins, 1 League promotion. Hoping to add another couple of Cups to that. Hoping as well the Club World Cup. We can get that up to a 16, which makes 21. Um, sorry, 20 trophies and the promotion. 21 the things here. That would be quite nice, to be fair. Should take us as well. Um, hopefully uh, a little bit better and a little bit closer to that 79 then going to 80. So we'll see how it all goes. We'll see how it all goes. Um, we spent one day on holiday, 2100 days and change actually in the game. 27 million in the bank with 20 awards. We're almost going to have as many trophies as awards by the end of this, which is kind of ridiculous. And our only job, of course, this is the squad. And this is the team I have picked for today's game against Wolves. Vita joins Dele, Cosme, Starkey, Munoz, Camavinga, Rice, Sant, Mbappe, and Bici. I think that is our best lineup. Bar Brian Facey, who misses the game due to an injury. Um, it is a shame. Kind of been one of the big names. Picked him up for 9,000. Change from TNS. And, he, you know, he did okay as backup. He did okay rotating in. He's been the first team man. And he's missed some game time this year, but really, he's been so good at such a young age. And he's not doing well in training. His leadership's going up, which is nice. Stamina, too. Some of the other stats going down. It's a bit hit and miss. He's never going to be a world-class fullback uh, in some regards, but he's so solid and dependable. And for less than 10 grand, it's an absolute steal. Um, kind of like my Dennis Irwin. Fergie had always the first name on his sheet. And he's definitely been, well, quite some time, the first player I write down on the team sheet every week. Um, yeah. yeah. Until Yannick came along and Beachy kind of quickly pushed him out. It's always been Facey being there. Good bench, I feel as well. Ramsden, Matthews, Bevan, Cook, Richmond, Ferry, and Mepham. Uh Reina does need some match fitness, but I'm not really ready to risk him because I want him for the Champions League final. So I'm not going to put him into this, um, you know, and see him get injured. 
Bissy's he's probably going to miss both, but should be back for the Club World Championship. Uh, and Levi Torres, Towers, and uh, Ryan Hughes are just not quite going to make it right now. So, pretty happy with everything. I don't think there's any big news. Not. Okay. So, Wolves. Are gonna play quite well i feel um i think they're gonna be a little tough to break down in places not gonna lie but calvin phillips at center back i'm not sure i truly agree with that what's got some mado there which Quite good. Not the so he's quite good physically though. Not the best defensive line though, I've gotta say. Chalaba protecting Brun Larson and at Nori a decent uh fullback wing backs. Um Zichenko but Peta decent, but I'm not really gonna worry about them if I'm honest. And then Pedro Neto up top with Fabio Silva. I think that is a good duo there that we really do need to respect. But Front to back, we should be the better team. We should be the favourites. We should be the guys going in and absolutely rushing this. So, yeah, with that being said, let's see what we've got. Okay. Go and win this. Go and win this game. Go and prove that you're winners. He pointed assertively. And as he spoke to the group, each group in turn, first the defending core, then the midfielders, finally the goal scoring forwards. He pumped his fists in anticipation, driving the energy in the room to an all new high. I've got faith in you. Faith in you. To get the job done today, to bring back this. Get out there. Get the job done. Put this game away. No mistakes. No mercy. Go show them. But we are the best team. We are Swansea. This is the Swansea way. That team talk. Playing in the bright sky blue hits, which I don't love to be. I don't love. I don't hate. I just don't love. That slight brightness. Um, Wolves come up the gate early. Chalabar though gets booked. Now we should be able to run their defence a little bit better. Oh, this affects things. Some good pressure here from Wolves. On the edge of the area. Not really going in. When Mitch joins heads out but not clear. It works its way out to White Nori. Oh, it is Zinchenko. That's wide. Boys, we need to do better. We need to do better than that. Come on. We get a throw in. Starkey. Ben Beachy to Mitch joins. Oh my god. I, I don't really know what happened there. If I'm honest. It was kind of weird. It was a long shot from from joins here. So it's a throw in from Ilian Starkey. Okay. Let's see this again. Okay. It all happens way too quick. I want to know where this shot goes. There's a throw in. Beachy just turns, pings it to Starkey, uh, from Starkey over to Mitch Joins in space. Takes it down left footed, gets it out to his feet. Don't know if Golini has that. I think he probably does. I think he's going near post.
I think it's going right at the goalie here. And unfortunately, his Munoz is offside. Rebounds back, and Bappe's already going. Puts it the other side of the goalkeeper, but it will not count because it's offside. But I've never seen Mitch Jones hit a ball that well. I don't believe anyway. So I'm a little bit disappointed for him, to be honest with you, because FA Cup final would have been really nice for him to be, like, scoring a great goal like that. But okay. It really is a shame. But Kylian Mbappe puts the ball in the net. It is offside, but it shows just what this team's about. Ability to get in and mix it up front without too much issue. Ball comes back now. Kamavinga, Rice. Starts with Starkey. Ends with Starkey. He gives the ball away. Kamavinga clears up. Got men with him. Declan Rice. Up to Ben Beachy in the head is right at the goalkeeper. Not what you want to see, boys. Not what you want to see. But the lick steps up, Kamavinga out to Rice, back to Starkey. And we go again from deep. We work the ball. Looks like Starkey's a little bit more hesitant at times than other players. You can understand that, of course. He is the new guy in this lineup. And it looks like... Certainly on top, but we're not quite getting the job done. Joins with a nice header to cut that out. And Bappe to Ben Beachy. Cracks against the frame of the woodwork. Unbelievable. The lake will clear that ball. Unbelievable. Munoz gets booked. Russ, at the death of the first half, Carlos Victor comes up, claims that ball. He pumps it forward towards Beachy, lets it fall once. Lazy from the players. They had a chance here. Get that counter attack from a long kick up field. Now it's very slow to start, but Beachy now can attack down the wings. Sent your men back for them. Doesn't even get past Chalabar, but Ben Beachy to Kamavinga. Michael Sant. Munoz! Oh, he makes up for his offside. He makes up for his offside, boys. And the Swansea fans go wild. A lovely near post finish from Munoz. Offside and book, but comes up Trumps right with the last kick of the first half to take Swansea through into that half time team talk with a little bit about them. Um, I'm not happy though. I'm not happy. I need to talk to you two because. Hands together, boys. Let, let's not get sent off. Let's not get sent off, okay? Not happy with the back line. Not happy with midfield. Not happy with the front. Not happy with any of you. You're not doing what, what we talked about or how we normally play. The midfield is starting to do little bits, but you've got two bookings. The defence has been lacklustre and slow, and there's been no movement from the front line at all. These chances aren't going to create themselves. They're not going to take themselves. Get out there. Show them what we're all about. Papi, so late to react and so lazy. Finally does get there. Of course, himself almost gets the job done, but that was a good opportunity that kind of died before we even got to it. That's just not good enough. Oh, I thought that was going in. Decent ball by Sant finds Beachy. Not really going our way.
Uh, yeah, Bevan, why not? We'll put Bevan in as a Mazala. Declan Rice slides into the hole to protect the back line. Lewis Cook comes on as our other Mazala. Put a bit more vim and vigor into that into that midfield. I'm going to swap around Beachy and Mbappe. Sure that they're sufficiently fired up. This is a, an all to play for game right now. So 30 minutes left. Demand more from the boys. Third sub's probably going to have to be Declan Rice, isn't it? Okay. If we quick look at Sant, drop him back for Bevan. Bevan in as a deep line playmaker. I think that kind of is going to be his best role. I think that works for me. And then James Matthews. We're going to push. Killing Mbappe into the hole. Play as a shadow striker from in deep. I think that makes sense to me. And yeah, okay. Let's just see what young Matthews can do. I think he's okay as he is. Um, we'll see. We will see. But we're going to set things up now as as we can uh, can attack from deep with Mbappe with his pace. He doesn't need to do too much else. Got good strikers in front. We secure the midfield a little bit. They're getting booked right at the end. They get a chance now. We put the pressure on. Ball up to McAllister. Neto dropping deep, giving himself space to run in as normally does his entire strike. Oh, this entire strike force of midfield sometimes dropping deep. Fabio Silva's done it all game. Neto did it well there. Right at the death, Neto's corner. Avito made the save, was good enough. Then comes, claims the cross. And it's a very tight win. But we will let the song be sung once more. Let the boys enjoy their moments. Oh, and Carl's Vitor lifts the trophy. I'm not sure why he's the one lifting the trophy, but he is. And it's a good win. It's a comfortable win. I think there's a touch too much comfort in there. Yeah, I'm not too dishappy. I, I think, I think in general we played well. We controlled the game. We got shots. We got shots on target. We had them basically forced into bad areas where they couldn't take good shots. Dangerous team. Definitely expected more from us. And again, Mbappe goes missing in a big game. Um. Gonna shout at Mbappe especially there a little bit. Just let him know that we expect more. We indeed do expect more. But the second of our three trophies in cup competitions domestically has been taken care of. Um, and of course the league was already taken care of. We didn't see that, but yeah, that was a long time ago. So the hat trick of hat tricks is complete it's another one they'll win it's another game i feel we're not playing our best football and we're well we're well within ourselves to be fair overall galini had a good game we shut them down they never really got started but against a kind of shaky back line i did not love our strike force they really didn't do much um yeah Dominant performance, 
but we never put them away. We kept them around. That's very dangerous. We cannot afford to do that against uh, United in the upcoming Champions League final, which will be the next video. So make sure you subscribe to get that notification when that goes live. Click that little bell while you're at it. And if you are enjoying the series, please do smash that like button. Leave a comment because it really does help out. You know what it does. The YouTube algorithm. The more likes, the more comments, the more subs that happen on certain videos, the more they get pushed onto, um, on through the metrics and more people will see them. So it really helps out. If you like a channel, not just mine, but any channel, go and like some of their videos, leave some comments. Even if you're just saying hi, make sure you do it for all your favorite creators because it really does help us out. Very good though, very good. Fourth FA Cup. A third in a row. Absolutely phenomenal stuff there. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we, we kind of did just enough, but I'm, I'm not very happy. I'm very not happy that Reyna gets a million for not playing in that final. So I rested him and two million for Mbappe, who played absolutely trash. Yikes, that's, uh, that's not amazing, to be fair. That's not amazing, to be fair. Okay, so six days until Man United, 78 games unbeaten. 79 will be the Champions League Cup final. And then I believe we play a few. Yeah, we, we should play four games at least. It's Okay, so five games. That'll take us up to 84. Hopefully. That's where we would end things. Always in control. Yeah, they picked up towards the end. But we really stepped up. And it's really good. Okay. World Cup as well. Coming here. Very soon. Uh, Tonali, George, Enrique, Sanchez, Borno, Guilherme, Luna, Rincon, Obregon, Martin, Savic. Oh, I couldn't speak for a second. Palaversa, Hernandez, Helster, Demir, Juricic, Carter, Vickers, Röning, Kibweze, Joagwe, Rolom, Snabria, and Riculi. Ow. He so made it. Um, America made it. We have from our club. We have in Group C, England, Ben Beachy, Brian Facey, Declan Rice, and Lewis Cook. Group I for France, Kylian Mbappe and Eduardo Camavinga. Group O, Netherlands, Matthias De, uh, De Ligt. No surprises there from those three at all. Argentina's in Group G, where Pan Carlos Munoz will be a part of their squad, and in Group K, Carlos Vito and Cosme are uh, with Brazil. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Um, I've got to ask, if Carter Vickers up there and he's with America, does that mean that America's not called up Urena? That's a travesty right there. What are they doing? My God. Like, I don't know. That's really weird, but okay. Um, Gio Reyna is not going to the World Cup. I find that very, very strange. It's not due to injury because Brian Fierce got called up by England. Yeah, I just 
don't understand that one gotta be honest do not understand that one at all but hey that's where things are i guess um so it'll be interesting to watch the world cup as well see what happens in that um probably where we got the club world cup going on we may lose some players for that depending exactly when that competition is going to be happening but um yeah, we got one more game to play before we get there. We go into the end of season break. After it, MK Dons with a couple of our players went down. And uh, Blackpool with a couple of our players also going down from the championship. We gain more staff members. I'm probably not going to hire many of them because every time I do, we drop back down to the old limit. So I'm, I'm not going to love that. Ryan Dale, Championship Player of the Year, Golden Boot, as well as the EFL Young Rookie Player. So, uh, <laughs> great season from him. Probably ready to come up to the Premier League. Uh, doesn't look entirely ready. Only 18, 5 foot 5. A little slow, not very strong, not good in the air. Could have the makings of a good player. Definitely need to teach him. A little bit more uh, speed. Better first touch would help as well, to be fair. A little bit better in front of goal, a little bit of speed. He could be an amazing player, but um, I don't quite think he's ready. 21 goals in the championship, a 7.84 average rating. Absolutely played phenomenally well. Got to give it to him. And Millwall ended up in mid table. So. Not amazing. Looks like West Ham coming up with Leeds and Norwich. Uh, harsh to say that they don't deserve it. So, well done to them for that. But yeah, Ipswich going down with MK Dons and Blackpool. Either Barnsley on Doncaster. Doncaster probably over the season deserve it more, but you never know what's going to happen. Uh, Newport and Sunderland. Two of our feeder clubs. Sunderland take the title. Portsmouth go up. Newport in the playoffs after that disastrous run keeps them out of the automatic hunt to end the season. A hull going down into League 2 with Carlisle, Rochdale and Harrogate Town. Then either Salford or Morecambe in League 2. Uh, very tight between the two of them. But they'll be going up with Crew, Wickham and Bristol Rovers. Exeter and Northampton going down there so really interesting season as we've seen in the premier league everton go back down bit of a yo-yo club right now charlton even with a couple of our players couldn't keep themselves up and sheffield united as well after a poor run to end the season ended all their all their hopes quite early on so bit of a fight between everton watford and brentford but uh, everton just slip enough to fall out of the league once more. Wolves finish six. That's the biggest overachiever. And uh, yeah, we finish 22 points clear of Liverpool. Which is quite interesting to be that far ahead. 78 points. Good enough for second place. Would have only been good enough for fourth last year. I would have been good enough for fifth the year before. It was good enough for fifth the year before that. Uh, would have been good enough for third in that season. Uh, and in the first season we played in this game. When we were in the championship still, would have been good enough for third. So third, third, fifth, possibly six actually. Fifth, fourth. And this year is good enough to get second place. It's, yeah, there's still a decent way from the chasing pack, of course, but, um, yeah, very interesting. United losing a lot of games towards the end. Man City dropping a lot of points. Liverpool dropping a lot of points. Chelsea, two draws, three wins. One of the better, surprisingly, ends to the, uh, the end of the season. In fact, apart from us, that's the best form of the last five games. Of any team in the Premier League. Three wins, two draws. Which I... Uh, yeah. 
kind of goes to show the season has been. But we win the Premier League. We win the FA Cup. We win the League Cup. Start of the year, we won the Super Cup on the Community Shield. We won all of our friendlies. We won a derby uh, against uh, Cardiff in preseason. But Rolls is uh, testimonial. How well did he play? Not too bad. He didn't play great, but not too bad. A 32-year-old. 32-year-old. But fair enough, he does sort of... He deserves a testimony. It's been 15 years since he joined Cardiff. 14 since he made his debut. And... It's 11 years since he's solidly in the first team. Gets the team up into the Premier League. Their one season wonders, though. They go back down. And as we saw, they're kind of lower mid-table here. Just above the relegation fight, but not by much. Um, but yeah, he deserved his, uh, deserved his testimonial. But we went and won that as well. And of course, Club World Cup. All that's left really this season is the Champions League final. Against Man United. And then we can go back to the Club World Cup. See how that works out this season. And can we finish on the highest of highs. Defending every single one of our trophies. Winning absolutely everything in one season. Being invincible across even that competition too. Even if the games don't appear on this year's schedule. I still count it. And I want to be invincible in that. Um, and like I say, apart from the league, right now we are also technically perfect. Two draws in the league, 100% record in all other competitions. No losses on the season. This would be a fitting way to sign off. I hope you come back to see what happens against Man United in the Champions League final. And then, as I say, the Club World Cup will start at some point. We will run through that as best we can and just show you how good perhaps this team could be. I'm looking forward to uh, watching that unfold. I cannot lie. I'm excited. I hope you are too. I hope you come back soon for that next episode. Smash the like button, subscribe, notification bell. You know the drill by now, guys. Let's go. Thank you very much for the current support on the series, as always. Let me know what you think. What you'd like to see next as we come to an end of this series. Um, I'm kind of tempted to bring back the, the building a better Barca save. And I've got a few other ideas. But let me know if there's something you really want to see that probably doesn't involve playing a club in England or France, because that's where my journeyman on twitch is currently so let me know what you want to see in the comments down below i'll see you soon till then take care stay safe behave and wish me all the best for this champions league final and a chance to remain unbeaten as invincible as we can be see you next time till then bye guys